Hi guys, what's going on? And this is the third video in our series Multiply W2 without Multiply. So in this video, we'll still be using Netcat to connect to different ports and, uh, and exploiting a vulnerability uh, to gain a root access or in short, you can say we'll elevate our privileges from user to root. So uh, starting from our previous and map scan. Uh, we are going to connect to this port. So uh, this is a telnet port and this is open. Let's see what we can find out uh, using banners. Netcat, minus v, one, two, one, six, eight, number dot ten. Let's copy it. On port 23. Okay, as you can see, that we have some unreadable characters here. So uh, we're going to try another way to connect to this port. Uh, I'm sure Netcat can do that, but I'm not sure how. So we're going to try and net uh, and tell Net to the specific port as this is telnet already. So we don't need to uh, do Netcat on uh, this. So tell that IP address on port 23. So uh, we have a banner uh, to manage flight level 2 on Telnet. As you can see that uh, we can log in using MSF admin and MSF admin. This is a bad configuration by lazy admins. I uh, have written the username and password in the banner. So let's try and log in using the credential. MSF admin, MSF admin. Admin. All right, so we are logged into Metasploit Level 2 uh, using MSF admin user. As you can see, that we are not a root user on this machine. Obviously, we are admin, but we are not root. So, we'll try to escalate our privileges manually on uh, this uh, user. So, uh, there are a lot of different techniques and methods to uh, elevate your privileges for this specific user or in any assignment if you have a low privilege shell this is the best way to check out just quickly that uh, if there are any pseudo misconfigurations to check if you can sudo any command just use sudo minus l and obviously i have the password for ms admin as it's written in uh, the banner so I write MSF admin. Okay. So uh, I can sudo. I can run all commands as a sudo on this machine because I have the password of this leg. So uh, let's try to elevate to root. Obviously, this is a dumb way, but using sudo minus L is uh, a very handy sometimes. So uh, we'll try to run bash as sudo. So uh, you can see that we are root now. So uh, what we have done actually, we have uh, listed all the commands we can use as uh, a sudo user. So uh, it told us that you can run all commands as sudo. So we have sudo bin bash and we are root. Obviously you can uh, do stuff from here depending on the situation.